In this video, we're doing some more DIY. Building a pantry with sliding doors. Make sure you stick around, and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below and keep an eye out for more videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Surridge Tech and today we're going to be building a pantry in the fireplace in my kitchen. We're going to use a single sheet of ply, some angle alley, a copper pipe and a bit of 3D printing. So let's get going. Here we have a problem. It's a big problem. It's got horns above it. It's got a lot of alcohol in it. No, the alcohol is not the problem. The problem is my lack of storage. And to fix that, we're going to build some shelves. These shelves are going to be all made of ply. We're going to use one sheet of ply for this whole build. And we're going to create some brackets using some angled aluminium. Uh, and I'm going to get some sliding doors also made of the ply. Um, and the materials for the doors are going to be made from the 3D printer, or on the 3D printer, I should say. So here we are cutting the three shelves. You can see I'm using a bit of masking tape. That's to help reduce a bit of the blowout from the circular saw uh, where it just chips away at the facing of the plywood. And now we do the same for the doors. Angled aluminium, magically cut into three bits, and pre-drilled holes. Who knew that camera work could be so magic, or that you could just you know, forget to film? Now, annoyingly, this is a bit out of focus, um, but you can see that I'm burning it. So I got, this is my first time trying this kind of burnt effect. Uh, I think it's a lot better on kind of a pine or something slightly less resistant. Uh, and with a slightly thicker grain um, but it actually worked really well this is just a keep cheap kind of plumber's blowtorch uh, and I'm just burning it to try and get an even-ish finish um, you know it's not it's not easy because it's got such a small area uh, ideally I'd be using something like a reefing torch which obviously gives a much bigger flame It's the magic. A bit of Danish oil. Amazing what it does, doesn't it? It really brings out the colours and the depth and the texture and all that artsy, wartsy stuff. Now for the doors, I thought I'd be a bit more creative. Um, so we're going to try and get a bit of an abstract, kind of angled geometric pattern on there um, using three different finishes. So we're going to have obviously the burnt effect, um, which doesn't work lying flat because all the gas just falls out. We've got to do it vertically. Um, so we're going to have a burnt effect in a few bits. We're going to have some white emulsion in a few bits and then we'll have some blackboard paint
and pop. We've got our 3D printed parts. These are hanging brackets. I'll leave a link to Thingiverse below where I found it. But basically some brackets, some bolts, um, some 3D printed bearings. Screw it all together and it's all sorted. I don't know how long it will last. The doors thankfully aren't that heavy. There's a bit of a sag in the middle. Uh, you may notice later on I actually put a 3D printed kind of bracket to hold the middle up. And then the hangers themselves. Some nice round headed screws, a bit of alignment, and here we go. I really enjoy the detail on the hangers with the six screws. I really enjoy actually all of it to be honest it's so nice to have that much storage space so nice to have an organized pantry all that was on the sideboard or the worktop um, before i built this so i'm very happy with it might incorporate some lights in the future i'll admit it looks darker in this than it does in person um, but i am very happy with it and it's so nice to be able to just close it off and forget about it and also add a bit of character and texture and something different to the kitchen So it's probably worth reflecting on the build. I think it went very well, and I'm very happy with the outcome. So what have I learned? Well, first of all, playing with fire is fun. Don't try this at home. It gives a very nice effect, especially when mixed with Danish oil. Copper pipe is quite bendy, hence the need for a bracket in the middle. A sheet of ply goes quite a long way. The whole project done in just one sheet. 3D printers are cool. A sliding door kit would have set me back like 100 quid, but on the printer it was, well, pennies really, plus a few bolts. That being said, the bearings didn't really work very well as bearings. The first few layers seemed to fuse it all the parts together, so the kind of bearingy bits fused with the ringy bits so they didn't spin independently, unfortunately. But they still work. A workbench would be nice. My knees aren't what they used to be, unfortunately. And I'm still very much getting used to filming this type of video or forgetting to film parts of it, I should say. So, as always, if you like this kind of content, let me know. If you have any suggestions or recommendations for content, let me know. If you have any questions about anything, let me know, either in the comments below, on my social media, or via email. So there we go. Another problem solved with DIY in the form of a pantry. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click the bell icon to find out more about my smart tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.